Hola mis compañeros amantes de maquillaje. Today we are going to be doing a video in Spanish, which is a little crazy, but I was requested to do this a few months back and I have been preparing for it and studying and working on my Spanish and I decided to just go ahead and do it today because, you know, obviously the more you learn, like every single day I get a little bit better and I learn a new word or a new phrase or like a different like way to say the same thing. Like I feel like, you know, every day it's like a, like a slow hill up to learning more and more basically so I just thought you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and do it today I'm sure if I did it next week it would be even better if I did it a month from now it would be better but this is my Spanish in this moment I did go ahead and I have like a ton of flashcards and I've been studying um, all different like beauty related words although I don't know how many of them I actually ended up using today just because I was so nervous because I don't talk in Spanish very often at all ever so it was a little bit difficult for me but um, I know you guys wanted to see it. The reason I'm doing this intro in English is just because I feel like I can get my heart across a little bit better and I wanted to do a disclaimer because I want you guys to know that this video in no way is supposed to be like oh I'm just trying to like hop on a trend or like I just want to take advantage that like I know a lot of people are doing videos like this at the moment like I said I have been preparing for it for a while um but that's not what it is at all like I genuinely like from my soul love the Spanish language I have for a really really long time um I still remember I think when I was maybe like eight years old I got a book that was like my first thousand words in Spanish I still have that to this day um, I took five years of Spanish in school when literally you didn't have to take any, which is, don't even get me started about the American education system because it's ridiculous, um, that languages are not considered more important. I also took two years of French, but my French is very, very, very bad. And the last year or so, I have been, like, watching novellas like crazy and I think that helped some to a point, but then there was a show I really wanted to watch and they did not have English subtitles. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna watch it with only Spanish. And it was really, really hard at first, but I feel like it helped tre like tremendously for it being able to hear. So I feel like maybe you'll be able to tell when I'm talking that like when I talk, it's not the most amazing Spanish ever, but I can understand what's going on a lot better than when I talk because I'm so used to hearing it now, because I love, 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 love novellas so, so much, which maybe, like, if I do another video eventually, we could talk about novellas and, like, chat about that and whatnot, um, but that's kind of my journey thus far. Um, I have been so happy to make friends with so many of you guys, and, like, speaking Spanish to me and helping me practice, especially Liliana. She's an angel, so, um, that's definitely helped a lot. I just wanted to be open about it because like in no way do I want to feel like I'm like trying to appropriate a culture or something because I, from the bottom of my heart, love it. I want Roman to be able to speak Spanish. He is Mexican and I have some in-laws that are all from Puerto Rico and I'm hoping that my nephew and my niece who's on the way will be able to be bilingual because their father speaks Spanish. Um, my brother-in-law, mi cuñado. Um, so, yes. That is what's going on in my head and I just wanted to throw it all out there because I did, whenever I was talking about this on Instagram, get a few questions like, you know, you don't want to offend people and that would be the like last thing I would want. Like, like I said, I genuinely love the Spanish language so, so, so much and I appreciate it beyond words. Um, I have kind of started thinking about learning a third language and just like dipping my toes in it a little bit, but it is hard because I feel like I don't have a passion for any other language the way I have about Spanish. Um, I have thought about Italian because I think it just sounds so cool and there are a lot of similarities between Italian and Spanish and I've noticed the more Spanish I've learned, the easier it is to pick up certain Italian phrases and whatnot, but I don't know. I don't know. I also thought German would be cool because I am German and like my dad talked about when he was a kid getting to watch, um, and like listen to his family speak German, but unfortunately no one passed it down through the generations, so... I don't speak German, but I would like to maybe learn some. I don't know if I would be fluid, but anyways, I know this is like the longest intro ever, um, but I just wanted to put my heart out there for y'all because like I would not want to be misinterpreted. Like I know like I, who is this little gringa over here speaking Spanish? Like I love the language. I like love learning about the culture. I love everything about it and like learning about the different accents and like 
basically, I, I'm, I feel like I'm a sponge. Anytime anyone says anything about Spanish, I'm like, I want to soak it all in because I just, I can't explain the passion that I have for it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, even if I'm not perfect, which I'm definitely not perfect. Sometimes I don't say things right. Sometimes I get a little creative because I don't know exactly what I'm saying, but I feel like the point is to be able to communicate. So I am going to have English captions on the bottom. If I make any mistakes, you know, feel free to let me know so that I can better myself. But, um, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's like I said, it's a journey. So I'm trying not to be like too hard on myself. So I think that's everything I have to say. I've literally been filming this intro for over 10 minutes. This was supposed to be short and sweet and simple and to the point. Um, but let's just go ahead and let's start. Vamanos. No sé por qué estoy tan nerviosa, pero está bien. Okay. Voy a empezar con mi privase o mi primer. No sé si privase es más común que primer o si primer es Spanglish. No sé, pero ustedes saben qué estoy diciendo. Quiero usar tú, pero no es tú, es ustedes. Es muy difícil para mí, no sé. Voy a estar usando este privase de glacier. Es mi favorito porque tengo piel seca. Lo voy a aplicar. No recuerdo si dije el nombre de mi privase, pero es el glacier Prime Moisturizer Rich y me encanta porque es muy hidratante. Muy, muy, muy. No tengo palabras. Lo siento. Lo siento. Estoy tan nervioso porque um, me encanta ver las novelas, pero escucho y escucho y escucho y nunca hablo. Nunca. Ok. Y ahora para el base voy a estar usando mi Fast Base Stick Foundation de Makeup Revolution. Y me encanta, me encanta, me encanta. ¿Por qué estoy tan encumada? Oh my gosh. Ay, Dios mío. Uh, uh, y el color de este base es F1. Y es un poquito oscuro para mí. No sé. Sí, sí, oscuro, sí. Voy a aplicar un poco más porque me gusta más cobertura. Quiero decir un gracias grandísimo para mi amiga Liliana porque siempre ella está ayud ayudándome con mi español y es muy, muy, muy paciente conmigo y lo, agradez lo agradezco mucho, más que puedo decir. Ya voy a usar mis correctores de Colourpop, aunque no me gustan mucho, pero quiero terminarlos por completo. Um, voy a usar uh, Fair 4 <laughs> para mis imperfecciones. Um, cerca de mi nariz. <laughs> Mm. Aquí, aquí, mm, aquí, y eso es todo. Ok, voy a usar Fair 2 <laughs> bajo mi ojos. Voy a difuminar con mi esponja favorita, este um, Japanesque, ¿lo es de Japanesque? 
no sé. Mi vocabulario es muy grande, pero mi gramática es un trabajo en progreso. <laughs> Voy a usar polvo suelto y mi favorito es de R C M A. Creo que estoy un poco más callada que normal. No sé por qué. Para bronquiador voy a estar usando este de Kevin Aquan. Um, es de Neo Highlighter. Es un iluminador, pero estoy pálida y me gusta el color. Um, es Sahara. Ok. Uh, uh. Y tengo que decir que este... Era de Octoli y era gratis um, para, para, to review, no, no, no recuerdo cómo se dice to review, pero ustedes entienden, ok, uh, necesito una brocha, me gusta mezclar todos los colores, Uso este bronqueador casi todos los días. Ay, bendito. La batería de mi camarilla está muriendo. Great. Bueno. Ok. Necesito carrete. Voy a usar Melani Rosa Romántica. Es en español. Um, con el mismo... Con la misma brocha. No quiero la batería de mi camarilla morir, um, pues voy a hacer mis cejas y ya regreso. Um, voy a estar usando Anastasia Beverly Hills Taupe mm, Sombra de Ceja. No sé. Para mi maquillaje de todos los días, uso muchos paletas diferentes, pero hoy quiero usar mi Reina del Caribe paleta de Alamar Cosmetics porque es una de mis paletas favoritas. Necesito hacer un look muy simple porque no tengo tiempo. Voy a usar esta sombra Coco Taxi aquí. Voy a poner este color en mi pliegue y estoy desfuminando. Es muy simple, pero voy a usar el melecón con mi dedo. Qué bello. Y voy a desfuminar un poco más. Y ahora voy a usar Celia. Aquí. Voy a usar la costa en mi esquina interior. Ok, voy a aplicar mi pastañita. Tengo prisa. Ok, 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 ok. Um, para el iluminador, voy a estar usando mi Pink Lightning de Cine Grace Cosmetics porque es mi favorito iluminador suelto, creo que. Um, con la brocha de AOA <laughs> Studio. Um, eso es el F. F19. Estoy un imbécil. Hoy 
hoy no quiero usar labio, pero voy a aplicar a brillo de Lime Crime. El color es Naked Cherry. Ok, finalmente estamos hecho. Este es el look final. Este video era un regalo. Lo siento, lo siento. Um, lo siento. Um, si te gusta, no, si se gustan, no sé, su, su, oh, ustedes, I hate ustedes. Si ustedes quieren más videos en español, puedo como una pregunta y propuesta. Me gusta la idea. Si les gusta la idea, comentar debajo. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my brain is like shot. I'm like so done at this point because I've been filming forever. But that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this was definitely a learning experience for me, for sure. So I will see you guys in the next one. Hasta luego. <laughs> Adios.